Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video I'm gonna show you how to use cheat codes in your 3DS games to get unlimited life in Zelda, unlimited monster balls in Pokemon or basically any other sheets that you might need. All you need is a 3DS with the latest version of Luma 3DS and the sheet engine app Checkpoint installed on your device. Now if you have been following my guides to hack your 3DS you're already good to go with sheets. But if not, don't worry, I'm gonna show you really fast what you need to download, so remove your SD card from your device and stick it into your computer. Now before you go ahead and remove the SD card, there's actually a good idea to check which version of Luma 3DS and Checkpoint you have if you have it already, which you should have if you have been following my guides. And to check your Luma 3DS version, all you have to do is to turn off your device and then hold select while powering it back on and you will boot straight into Luma 3DS and you can see which version you have in the top left. I'm on 13.0.2 which is the newest version as of today, but if you're on a lower version, I'm gonna show you how to update it. And if you have the Checkpoint app installed on your device already, you can open it up and check which version you're on. As you can see in my top right corner, I'm on 3.7.4. And now that I have that information, I'm removing my SD card and will mount it on my computer. On your computer, follow the link in the video description to the Luma 3DS GitHub. Download the Luma 3DS zip file for the latest version of Luma 3DS. Then head over to the other link in the video description that will take you to the Checkpoints GitHub. Here, scroll down to version 3.7.4 since version 3.8.0 is not stable right now and click on assets and then download the file named checkpoint.cia. With your SD card inserted, open it up on your computer, then open the zip file you just downloaded and drag and drop the two files inside of it to the root of your SD card. Replace any existing file. Once that is done, make sure that you have a folder named CIA on your SD card. If you don't have one, just create a folder and name it CIA, then drag and drop the checkpoint.cia file that we downloaded before into that CIA folder on your SD card. And that's all we have to do on our computer. Now you can remove the SD card from your computer and put it back into your device. To install Checkpoint, locate the app FBI which is used to install CIA files on hacked 2DS and 3DS devices. Once launched, click on SD in the menu, then CIA which is the folder that you created before and then click the checkpoint.cia file. Choose install and delete CIA and then tap on yes. After a few seconds checkpoint will be installed on your device so go back to your 3ds home screen by clicking the home menu and then open up checkpoint. Now if you haven't played a single game yet on your 3ds you will just like me see absolutely nothing here but if you have played games and saved them at least once they will start to show up. So for the purpose of this guide, I'm just gonna go ahead and save a game from The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Once I have done that, I'm closing the game and starting up Checkpoint again. And now you can see that it's populated by the newly saved game. If your game still doesn't show up, hold down B on your 3DS to refresh the list and it should show up. But now it's time to add some spice to our game. Click on sheets in the bottom right corner and now you can see all the sheets available for the selected game. If it says something like no sheets available then unfortunately that's also the case. Not 100% of the games will have available sheets through checkpoint. But if the game have sheets it should be listed as here for a link between worlds. Mark the specific sheets you want to be able to use by click on A or click Y to add all sheets at once. And once you have marked the sheets you want, click on B and then on A when asked if you want to store the sheet file. Now start up the game again and once started, click on the left trigger, D-pad down and select at the same time to bring up the Rosalina menu. From here, click on sheets in the list and activate whichever sheet you want. And as you can see, when I back out of the Rosalina menu, rupees are raining over me like never before and I don't take any damage anymore. Now should you want to revert back and don't be invincible or have unlimited rupees anymore, just uncheck the sheets in the Rosalina menu and restart the game and you should be back to a normal state again. Thanks for watching this guide on how to install or update Luma 3DS and Checkpoint and also how to use Checkpoint to cheat in your games. Let me know if you liked the video by giving it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this in your feed. Happy gaming everyone!